Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Why am I doing a sing-songy type voice? That was that was weird. <laughs> uh, it's a good day. It's a very good day. I am I am doing a little bit of organizing and cleaning up and constructing, and you kind of will be able to get to see exactly what it is that I am constructing as soon as I turn around. But I'm not going to turn around until after I grab a few things from Ars Magica. See, it's Thomcraft. Actually, I can take Thomcraft too. Grab Thomcraft. Ars Magica, Ars Magica, Ars Magica, Ars Magica! Ars Magica? Ars Magica. Dalu. Okay, so, as you know, I live in the trees in this world, and I try to shape the trees to have an area for me to work in without completely destroying the look of the tree, and I think I do a fairly good job of it so far. I just need to eat some food. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. So... You haven't actually seen me in the process of working on a tree yet, so here's a little treat. This is pretty much what a tree looks like before I have completely altered it and made it, you know, kind of livable and interesting. Yeah, it's a lot of just spread out wood. Just kind of scattered everywhere, and you actually get a lot of wood when you're chopping through these trees. I mean, one of these trees alone, that could give you so much charcoal that you could probably run on charcoal power for, I don't know, half of a series? <laughs> Maybe? You can, you can get enough torches to light up pretty much every square around this area. That's probably a fact. Probably, I don't know. <coughs> ah, excuse me. So what is this tree going to be then? Well, this tree is going to be my storage area, and I'm trying something slightly different with my storage in this world. I, as, you, as you've probably seen in the past videos I've done, I am very bad at keeping everything organized. However, with this current, current version of Minecraft, it actually tells you what mod things are from, so I was thinking, well, how about if I set up my storage area to go by mod types? So, oh, uh, oops, that's a slight problem. <laughs> I should have thought of that. I forgot to make sure that I could actually open this chest. Yeah, that, my bad. Let's get the chest out. Okay, so only go too high. Too high. Okay. So I'm going to organize my chest by the mods instead of by, you know, item type. Because I don't think I've seen anyone do that before. This can go in there and soak in this. Because I don't need them right now. Yeah, I don't think I've seen anyone do that before. Usually it's by, okay, I'm going to have all my food in this chest. I'm going to have 27 chests devoted for building blocks. I'm going to have these chests meant for, like, like mob drops. And I will admit, I will have a few of those chests around because, well, Minecraft Vanilla does have enough items to kind of warrant a couple chests on its own to keep it a little bit more organized. There we go. Get a couple of these in there. I haven't really done anything with Thomcraft yet because, well, I don't really have an interest in getting into that until I, until I want to start making this area a little bit more interesting with light without having a whole bunch of torches around everywhere. Let's see, did I have anything else I had to put in here? No, we're going to keep the witch wood for now because we are going to use that to create a new workbench. 
using two crafting tables and one of these which are logs and the chest. Although maybe you don't need... Okay, you actually can use any type of log, so... Yeah, I guess I'll put the... put the... which would logs in here. And we'll just use one of these regular logs, because... Holy cow, I have so much of these logs. Okay, I need two slabs, which I do have some witchwood slabs. I think I'll just use those, perhaps. Uh, no, I'll, I'll make regular slabs. Okay. I do need a carpet, though, don't I? <clears throat> How do you make carpet? I've never made carpet before. Oh, that's pretty easy. Okay, that's good enough. Good enough for me. And if you keep hearing me cough, I'm terribly sorry. I'm having a little bit of heartburn issue right now. And it kind of sucks. A lot. Hmm. I don't have enough cotton right now to make wool blocks. I'm going to have to go find a sheep. Fortunately, there's a lot of sheep nearby. Sheep! Oh, sheep! I know there's some over in this jungle. So, I have a plan for today, and we're just kind of being sidetracked right now. Thank you, sheep. I needed that wool. Exactly the right amount. Thank you very much. I will come back for you at some point, probably. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see in the future. Yes, we have a plan today, and that is to kind of take a look at mariculture. As you probably saw in the last episode, when I came back after waiting for my hunger to go down, I had put up some of these things to kind of give me an idea of what I should be focusing on right now. Right now I'm focusing on this clearing the storage tree, which I actually did. So now it's just actually construct storage tree that I needed to do. But I don't need to change that right now because, <clears throat> well, I'm working on constructing the storage tree in my spare time while I'm listening to things like podcasts and other things like that. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm rambling a lot. Ramble, ramble, ramble. I need to get two crafting tables. Take a bit of carpet. There's that. There we go. <clears throat> and do the quick craft thing. There we go. Magician's work workbench. And I unlocked another new entry. Cool. Oh yeah, a moonstone meteor fell a while ago. I actually saw it. On occasion during the night, small meteors may crash down to the overworld. This is the only way to obtain moonstone ore. I have about five now. A full moon increases the odds of one spawning. The meteor always falls within 32 blocks of the player. And they will only ever fall on a biome's cover block. Meaning unless you have a house made of grass, it won't even hit your home. Okay. If you do have a house made of grass, then what is wrong with you? <laughs> Didn't you ever read The Three Little Pigs? That is funny. <clears throat> Workbench grid upgrade. Ooh. You figured out a way to make an upgrade for the magician's workbench that makes the secondary grid a 3x3 three three instead of a 2x2. Two two. Simply craft it and right click on a place bench to apply it. Keep in mind the modifications are rather fragile and will, and will break off if the workbench is destroyed and will have to be remade. Okay. So if I ever make the upgrade then I will need to make sure I'm going to put the workbench in a place that I want to keep it. But it sounds like I can place down the workbench right now and upgrade it later. And we're just going to put this uh, here. This will work. So, this is a magician's workbench, and it is kind of cool because it has, it has two different crafting grids, and it works kind of like the Tinker's Construct crafting table. It will keep the items in here, but it has a bonus of having a storage area off to the side so that way you don't have to run around and grab everything all the time. Which is pretty awesome. I like that idea. 
So if you have something that you know you're going to craft a lot, you can keep all the materials in here and just pop it all over here and start crafting. Anyway, oh, it even... Wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> That's cool. That That is such a small detail. I'm glad that's there. Okay, so we are going to take a look at Mariculture. Now, I have never, ever seen the Mariculture mod in use before. So all of this is completely new to me. Which is probably going to make for some, well, frustrating content, perhaps. Pearl Oyster. Oh, it reset. I was wondering what, why the, my thing looked a little bit odd. Yeah, I just updated the mod pack today. And I guess that reset... Oh, wait, that's not quite what I want. I want utility mode. There we go. That looks better now. I don't have to be distracted. Okay, so, there are all of these different things I have no idea what they're for. But I want to see what the sawmill is capable of doing. Let's see, wooden construction block. Logs and fences, that's a weird, com weird recipe. Well, let's make use of this. Oh! Uh, okay, so it actually will use items over in the, in in the side inventory. Good thing to know. Good thing I have so much more logs. <laughs> uh, that, that took me off guard a little bit. Land. Okay. So that's also cool. Actually, we'll keep the recipes as well. Nice. So I wonder... Okay, so let's see how that works. If I click stick, it'll put them in there. Nice. Okay, that's useful. Very useful. And then the logs. Now we have our construction block, <clears throat> and then we need to, we need an iron axe. Fortunately, I have a lot of, of iron on me. here. Construction block here. Copper. I need to go grab some copper. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Is my is my mix ready yet? Yep, alumite ready. Because I, I needed to repair my axe. I can grab it later though. Not important. Not too important. Let's see, bunch of blocks of copper. That'll I'll just take one. One's all I need. I'm I'm curious how this sawmill works, because if it works like the the thermal expansion sawmill but without power, then it is probably gonna be better in my opinion. Okay, so was it up here? No no no, it was down here. Right. And this gives us a sawmill. Okay, now let's take a look at this. I have no idea how this works. <laughs> what are all these slots for? 
Oh boy, what am I getting into? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so let's see. Diving helmet, plans, spawn ender dragon. What? They really made an egg for spawning the ender dragon? Why would they do that? Planning chuck, polished titanium rod. Let's see. Titanium chuck. Oh, cool! They have they have crossover stuff. So you can make titanium, titanium weaponry. It's neat. One ring. Lord of the Rings reference. Funny. Uh. Yeah, I have no idea what to do now. Oh boy, I am. I am something. I don't know what I am, but I am something. Well, let's let's look at the automatic fisher then. Let's see, this requires wood fishing rods, which is requires a polished stick. How do you get a polished stick? Okay. You know, maybe learning about mariculture right now might not be the best idea, because there, there seems to be a lot that I need to figure out. See, I, I decided to add mariculture to the mod pack as an extra because, well, it adds a lot of interesting stuff to the water, and I also want to see if I can do anything with these fish. Like, maybe I can, maybe I can get some good fish bread that give me good food or something. I don't know. So yeah, I might have to look at this at uh, a different time. Okay, pickaxe. I'm going to pop this over in the mariculture chest. Save it for later. Okay, so now what then? Well, let's see. Ooh, more Christmas essence. Oh, I got a lot of redstone seeds that time. I'll plant a couple more. Let's see, what do I do now? Da -da -da, let's take a look at my list again. Let's see, my list. Strip mine. That's not a very good video. Clear the storage tree. I did that, and now I'm building this, the tree out. Determine a power source. And learn mariculture. Uh, let's see, power sources. I'm thinking thermal expansion is going to be the way I go. I'm thinking. I kind of wonder. Will applied energistics will it still take will it take this new the RF stuff? Or am I going to have to have an entirely separate system to power my to power my uh, applied energistic system when I finally am able to actually build that? And I already have a plan of where I'm going to put it. Right in the base of this tree, probably. Or maybe up here. I don't I haven't quite decided which part. But it's going to be in this tree, so I can have a storage terminal like right here, and I can just go, hey, grab it. Hey, all my stuff, grab, leave. Or maybe I can just put the storage terminal in the, exa in the exact center of the tree. That'd be a good idea, probably. A very good idea. Maybe. 
I'm not committing to anything. You can't make me. Hmm. Well, strip mining won't make for good video, so I have to do that off screen. <clears throat> That's not really something I'm too concerned about doing right now, anyway. Because the storage unit, storage tree is a lot more important to get done. Let's see. But I did already make one of the thermal expansion engines. And there's like four in total. I believe that I just made the steam dynamo. There's magmatic, which uses lava. Compression, I don't know. And reactant, I don't know. So lots of... N so a couple new engines from thermal expansion that I have to figure out what they're for. Uh, there's also different types of conduits. And there's all these floorbs, and I don't know what floorbs are for. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Blizz, I know you get from these things that are like blaze, but you find them in wintry biomes. And we have a wintry biome nearby, but I don't know if you're going to find any any of the blizz over there. I think you have to wait till nightfall before a blizz spawns. But they're not important right now. Hi cows. Now I also need to decide what I'm going to use this tree for. I, I went to the trouble of making a little bridge over here, but that's about as far as it went. I haven't decided anything to do with it. Hmm. All these, all the decision making very early on is a little bit difficult to deal with. Especially if you don't really have an ultimate goal in mind. So I'm, I'm just playing this to have fun. That's about it. Ah. Ew, quartz stone. Hmm. Hey there, chicken. What you doing in the tree? You shouldn't be in the tree. Get down from the tree. Get. Get. Don't make me punch you. Eh, fine. Just stay there. See, there's also exploring I could do to kind of see what's around the around the world, but... Most of everything I need is pretty much right here. <clears throat> yeah. So what is my goal for the moment? I'm going to have to take some time away from recording to actually decide what my goal is. Oh, hey, I forgot there was one of these over here. Yoink. So I will be back after a little while and I will have I will tell you what I think I should do. So see you in a moment. Okay, so I understand a little bit more about mariculture now. And so I'm gonna actually take a look at this a little bit more. Where do I get limestone from? I might not actually be able to do anything for mariculture right now, but I can do my best to kind of explain what I learned. So in order for me to actually use that sawmill, see, I was I was thinking that would be like you know it saws wood into lock into planks. No, I'm wrong. I was I was very wrong. What it actually does is you take you take this and you make a plan and then from there I speculate that you take planning chalk and somewhere somehow 
you are able to take the the plan and the planning chalk and and kind of just you know make one of these plans over here so like flooring block stairs slabs that kind of stuff and with that you can You can retexture a block, basically, or you can build a block that has different textures on it, on different sides. So, it might even be possible for me to, like, to, like, have a, have a multi-story building with one block thick floor and have the top part of the floor be like be like wood planks and the bottom part of it be like like oak beams I don't know where you actually take get this plan worked on or where you go to make this plan have the drawing but then again I also don't have the necessary ingredients to make this chalk which is a little bit annoying because I need to figure out where I get limestone then, and I have no idea where to get limestone. But, whatever. I, I, I'll find out eventually. So then there's also... There's also the industrial freezer and the industrial smelter. Now these are... I suppose the best way to put it is that these are the equivalent of Tinker's Construct where your ores get melted down and then you dump them into the casting table to turn them into an ingot. Essentially it's the same thing except that the smelter will turn it into a liquid and the freezer will turn it into an ingot. Speaking of ingots... So that's, an, that's fairly interesting and you know maybe I will actually make something for that. Because while I do enjoy using this, using the smeltery, it is a little bit irritating when it comes to actually taking the metals and smelting them down into just their basic, basic form. Because yeah, you do get double, but it requires you to keep on using lava. And from what it sounds like, this industrial smelter actually doesn't require you to put anything into it, but you can surround it in lava and it'll work. And you just need to make these things, and it's a little bit of a convoluted recipe. But it should be fine. And then the industrial freezer, it actually kind of functions the same way as a smelter in that you can surround it with ice and it will function faster. So that's cool. Now I haven't seen how to make the polished rod yet, but I'm going to keep looking at the wiki and I'll, I'll figure that out eventually and then I can make an automatic fissure and then I won't have to keep on killing my cows and just building a stockpile of le leather for no reason. I can I can butcher the cows whenever I need to butcher them. Why is that cow doing laps? Go cow go! Do some laps. <laughs> oh, I I'm not all here right now. <laughs> oh well. So this episode not quite as not quite as what I planned it to turn out, but it was interesting to learn a couple new things. We learned how to use a magician's workbench, and I have learned a little bit about Mariculture. I'm going to keep on looking at Mariculture, and next episode I'm going to actually talk more about Mariculture. I think that's the way I'm going to do this series for a while, is like kind of do a little spotlight review thing for different mods per episode. And from that I probably will be able to get a better direction of where I'm going to go with this series. Because this is a very directionless series right now and well so far the first two episodes have, or first 
three have been about Tinker, not Tinkers, jeez, Ars Magica, which I do declare is one of the most amazing mods I've ever seen. But then again, I love magic and spells and have a bias towards it. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. And I will see you next time. Take care, guys. And goodbye. Actually, oh, he's dead. Bye!